the game show host that kisses kids that title by itself is absolutely insane like all of the content in this video is protected spoilers, by the dude, thanks, the man. The intention of this video is to report and criticize the 1980s game show Just Like Mom, which was broadcasted publicly and then rerun 30 years later. This video Just covers like content Mom. that may be perceived as shocking and insensitive, but it is necessary to discuss for educational and documentary purposes. You look like dude, he had, to th he had to throw that in there, dude. He had to, he had to throw that in there, bro, because he knew that de demonetization button was coming, dude. He knew that he knew that yellow tag was about to get thrown up, bro. We had to I know but it is necessary to discuss for educational and documentary purposes. Dude. You look like a young lady who likes to give lots of hugs and kisses out, do you? You're both very pretty. Thank you have green eyes. Blue. Are they they're not blue. Now don't tell me that. Look at me a little closer. They're green. <laughs> Ew! He's a she this person is uncomfortable this person is uncomfortable and in turn i'm feeling the secondhand discomfort like the the awkward smile and the fake giggle are your eyes green boy are they ever pretty wow did many boys comment on your eyes hugs and kisses i should have known a sweet look at what did that say? Close shave? Close shaves. What is that? I should have known this. What is what is the point of this game show? Sweet looking gal like you. Why are we shaving mom? You kisses though, don't you, Steph? No. You don't too? Alright, wait, you like hugging and kissing? No kisses? Can I have a little kiss, please? You got any boyfriends? Yeah, one. One boyfriend? This is crazy. To, when you're alone together, what do you do too? We have What? What? One boyfriend? What do you do too when you're alone together? What do you do too? We oh, we play with fucking Barbies. Like, uh, what do you do alone? What? She's seven. What do you mean? What the fuck do you think they're playing house? And he's the dog. Like, what do you mean? What are they doing? What the fuck? So much they're eating dinosaur chicken nuggets on the living room floor. Fun with six year olds on Mom is in the kitchen screaming because she's good. She's about to get evicted. The show. Heck, you don't have to be afraid of us. Dude. That horrifying footage was from the 1980s Canadian game show, Just Like Canada. Home. The man. Canada. Who the thunk? Who the thunk? Hosting the show was named Fergie Olver. You are probably feeling shocked, Fergie. confused, and appalled at the visible proof of pedophilia broadcasted on live TV. How were they able to do this? Why didn't anyone stop this? Did the host go to jail today? We are going to dive into the dark past of the worst game show ever made. Scarborough, Ontario, a suburb of Toronto, Canada, was where CFTO TV studios. So Drake were is responsible the for year this. 1979. I knew it. Paul Burford came up with a new idea for a game show that would shock the world, literally. He pitches the idea to his friend Stephen Young, who would be the host of season one. So this guy, he loves... he's like, he's like in the shower. He's like, what's popping in the 80s? Madonna? The Bee Gees? I don't know. He's listening, he's listening to the Beach Boys. He's in the shower and he goes, Eureka! I've got an idea! A million dollar game show! Let's kiss some kids! This guy! In the 80s, kids game shows were not very popular in America. But Canada seemed to have a vested interest in this genre. The idea was almost exactly like the newlywed game, but with kids and their mothers. Three teams, each consisting of a child and their mother. The children are asked two questions while the moms are backstage. They give an answer, then the mom comes on the stage and is asked the same question. Each team gets points when their answers match. 
Then they have a bake-off, where the kids are given some ingredients to bake something in 60 seconds. Oh, the no, nah, this would go crazy. What's that game? What's that one on YouTube? What's that one where they, like, drink with their, with their like, dads and they, like, talk about, like, their body counts? What is that? The truth or drink? That would be hard. Do that. Do this game, but they're drunk, right? And the kids are grown, obviously. Do, I think that would go crazy. Bake Off, where the kids are given some ingredients to bake something in 60 seconds. The mothers get a taste test of each one and have to guess which one their child baked. If they fleshed out this part of the game show, it would actually be a fun idea. Maybe give the kids more ingredients, more time to explain what ingredients they're using and why. This is not For actually example, bad. this one mother knew it was her daughter's creation because it had a lot of cherries in it. You win the show! Congratulations! And why did you take number three? Because it had the most cherries in it. It had the most yeah. cherries in it. Whoever has the most points at the end gets to spin the prize wheel full of cheap sponsored items with hopes of winning a trip to Disneyland. Spin what the did that? A popcorn maker! I just sat here for two hours playing this dumbass game with this creepy host whispering sweet nothings in my ear, and my grand prize is a popcorn maker with a bonus sandwich maker! That's, that's the prize! A sandwich maker, a fucking panini press! Wheel full wow, man, I'm a so to fuck a car, dude. Let's go. Concert items with hopes of no winning trip to trip Jamaica. To Disneyland. Season one was hosted by Stephen Young and Catherine Swing. Stephen was a lot less creepy than Fergie, but still had some questionable tendencies. Catherine was elected as Miss Canada in 1978. She was an actress and TV personality. In the beginning of each episode, the kids would run up to the host as he demands a hug and kiss. However, for the remainder Why of the show, bowing? at least the ones I could find on the internet, he seems to give the children a little bit more space, isn't always trying to touch them, and just focuses on the game. Steven left the show after season one. Nobody knows why. Season two was. I wonder why. I wonder. I, I wonder why. They probably straight up asked Steven. They're like, hey, Steven. Hey, Steven. Get a little bit closer to them kids, bro. Come on, just... Just lean into them, you know? Maybe ask for a couple more... Come on, man, we gotta make some TV, you know? Maybe ask for a couple more kids to just lean in just a little bit more. And Steven is like, absolutely not! Steven's got a good head on his shoulders, bro. Canadians all over the country would be Tell introduced Steven. to Fergie Over. Fergie was Catherine Swing's husband. They even had two children together. Over was from Moose Jaw, Saskatchewan, Canada. He played minor league baseball. Moose Jaw. He is from Moose Jaw. If that is not the most Canadian name I've ever heard in my entire life. Together. Over was from Moose Jaw, Saskatchewan, Canada. Moose Jaw. He played minor league baseball in the semi-pro Western Baseball League. From there, he would transition into broadcasting. Once he landed a job at CFTO, he spent the remainder of his broadcasting career with the Toronto Blue Jays, where he was loved and respected. Famous for his catchphrase, how about those Blue Jays? Fergie's whole life revolved around baseball. That's where his expertise was. Sure, he did some commercials here and there, but his only other job was this random game show for children. When he took over for He's season just doing, two on Just He like, went from baseball icon to like a creepy host for a kid show. Mom, things well, that's a That's a fall off. That is a fall off, dude. Imagine having the status of like Ariana Grande, worldwide international superstar, and then you end up as Barney. Changed a lot. The children were no longer running up to the host in the beginning. Still, it was the host's job to greet the kids and make them feel comfortable. Despite his relaxed tone and higher pitched voice, literally none of the kids or their mothers ever looked comfortable. Where did you get that pretty blonde hair? Motherfucker, I grew it. Where did you get that pretty blonde hair? I don't fucking know. I've always it's been here, dude. Where the fuck did it get me? It came out first. I was born head first. My hair was first. You ask me, bro. What the fuck? The hair, the hair was here first, if we're being honest, bro. That's where it came from. To be afraid of us. The likely reason why the kids felt uncomfortable is because they were trapped. I'm glad you let me share this chair with you. 
This is comfortable up here. For the start of the game, the producers would take the mothers off the set, bring them backstage, and make sure they can't see or hear what's going on. That way they can't hear their child's answers and cheat to win the game. This was the perfect trap for Fergie and Catherine to take advantage of the children. Hugs and kisses. Hugs and kisses. I should have known a sweet looking gal like you would pick that one. Once the mothers were off stage, Moose the hosts jaw. would get very close to the kids. Most of the time, Fergie would have his hand on the backs of these children, or in places we can't be sure of. The children most of the time are visibly uncomfortable. They don't look nervous because what's there to be nervous about, right? And they don't look nervous. They just look absolutely petrified and the most uncomfortable that they've ever been in their entire life. But definitely not nervous. It, it's TV, there's an audience, their mothers aren't around. Definitely not. But if you look through most game shows involving children, the producers want the kids to be- Stop! Stop! Oh my god, it's real! Oh my god, I didn't think it was real. Oh my god, chat! I didn't think it was real! The mothers aren't around, but if you look through- A CHILD NAMED- Barbara, woo! Way I've been waiting so fucking long for this, dude. Never in my life have I ever seen nor met a Barbara under the age of 65 until today, dude. I didn't believe that they actually existed. I thought that they just legally changed their name to Barbara at that age because it's like a Bible thing, dude. Let's fucking go. Through most games, Chuck Barbara. All the Barbaras. I love all Barbara Streisand. Right? That's the only other Barbara I know. Shout out all the Barbaras. Involving children. Let's the go. The producers want the kids to be as comfortable as possible to get the best result. Let's Where fucking go. Where would say you'd wear a cummerbund? On my waist. On your waist. That way they aren't just staring into space and being quiet. Plus the mothers didn't look at ease either. Aren't game shows supposed to be fun? Full of energy? Goofy? Filled with laughs? The show constantly had dead air no reactions from the audience, and a creepy vibe that you could feel through the screen. It's almost like these families knew what was going on, but realized it was too late. The funny part about the game was supposed to be how children are unpredictable and will come up with ridiculous answers to these questions, like this one. What animal at the zoo reminds you of your mother? A gorilla. A gorilla! Oh! However- Oh! Oh! That's gotta have some, like, undertones to it. Like, his mama taught him to say that. His mama, his mama taught him to call anybody he don't like a gorilla, you know? However, and then she taught him who not to like. As time went on, the questions got <laughs> overly sexual and shockingly inappropriate. Mama's decided she wants to be a playboy bunny. What? What will dad say? They were why? Why does Paul care? Paul doesn't even know what the fuck a Playboy Bunny is yet. He hasn't found Dad's stash. We're not that far into the timeline yet. Paul hasn't found Dad's Playboy stash. He doesn't even know what the fuck that is. Well, he thinks Playboy is like is like a Barbie or like a GI Joe. Wants to be a Playboy. He's not even know what that is. What will Dad say? They were obsessed with the idea of kissing and trying to get kids to talk about sexual things. What would Mom have to do to get a great? Big sloppy kiss from you. Yeah. All right. Wait. Well, you like hugging and kissing? Um. Yeah. With who? Now I can remember being a child and adults say, "Oh, do you have a girlfriend?" And you kind of giggle and shrug it off. But to be trapped. You kind of did. I was like, "Hell yeah, bro! I like seven of them, bro. What you mean? Like, the, the you guys know me. You guys, you guys know me, bro. Stop it." I'd say, "Oh, do you have a girlfriend?" Stop and you kinda it. Kind of giggle and shrug it off. But to be trapped. And forced to give an answer as well as them going deeper you got any boyfriends yeah one one boyfriend what do you do to when you're alone together what do you do to just talk you just talk and that's all you wouldn't tell me anyway would you no no like what was the goal of these questions what did you want the kids to say Tara speaking of kissing when do you think and this might become an x-rated show soon when do you think your first kiss will be from a boyfriend? At what age we will accept Dude, one year what? out of the Now we have to address this. Like what? People that comment. What is happening? It was a different time. 
Yes, it was a different time where less pedophiles were being exposed for their wrongdoings. There are very few things on here that can be excused for societal norms being different. Sure, you mentioned how pretty or handsome one of the children are. You know what? That could be harmless. But Fergie just took it too far every time. Are your eyes green? Boy, are they ever pretty. She is so uncomfortable. Did boys comment on your eyes? Oh my god. Appropriate? I guess. If your game show relies Dude. on sexual questions for kids, then it probably isn't good. I mean, like, you know it's bad. I'm. This happened in the 80s. I wasn't even swimming in the sack yet. This happened in the 80s. And I'm watching this through a YouTube video, and I'm still feeling secondhand discomfort. You know? Like, I still... Still got the, woo, the heebie-jeebies, you know? Like, I got those fucking, I got the, the chills, the shivers, bro. Like, like, this dude's fucking creeping me the fuck out, dude. Like, fuck. He's probably old as ball sacks now. You know what I mean? I could probably beat his ass. If we're being, like, if I saw him on the street, he's like an old man with a cane. I'd push him over. Yeah, I'd push him over. Yes. If your game show relies on sexual questions for kids, laugh at it him. probably isn't good. I mean, we know this because the questions that weren't sexual were so bad. Okay, what do you think would be the best fertilizer mom could use on her plants? A spray gun. But absolutely no excuse can be made for- That's not fertilizer! What do you think would be the best questions that weren't Who the fuck is this? questions for What the kids, fuck is this little girl? Kimberly, I mean, you dumbass! You fucking dweeb! He asked what fertilizer, and you said a spray gun. What the fuck kind of a fertilizer is that? Motherfucker, you are not smarter than a fifth grader. The questions that weren't sexual were so... Granted, you may be a second grader, but that is not an excuse. So bad. Okay. What do you think would be the best fertilizer mom could use on her plants? A spray gun. But absolutely no excuse can be made for kissing a stranger's child on the mouth, especially after they said no. At some point, things got really out of hand. A lot of people reference this clip where someone says, dirty old man. Well, I guess you can't win the show then. If I don't get a hug and a kiss. Yeah, you hear that? In response to his disgust. Mama's not playing. Woo! Did you see? She immediately looked at mom. She immediately looked at mom, dude. A hug and a kiss. Yeah, you hear that? In response to his disgusting demands, the woman who said that was actually Catherine Swing, his wife and co-host. His own wife was calling him out on his horrific. Hold on. What a plot twist, fellas! And swing, his wife and co-host, his own wife, was calling him out on his horrific actions live on television. Even she had enough. She realized how much of a monster he was, yet it still continued. To no surprise, they got divorced shortly after the game show ended. The show ran from 1980 to 1985, 600 episodes. That is 1,800 Fuck. children featured on this series. A lot of people think very highly of it. 600! In fact, a lot of the episodes posted on YouTube are from people who were featured on the show and remember it as a fun and positive experience. Almost all of them are males which we can tell Fergie was not interested in. Fergie continued broadcasting with the Toronto Blue Jays until he retired in 1992. In 2004, he was nominated for the Ford Frick Award, presented by the National Baseball Hall of Ford Fame. Ford Frick all the way Award? Up until I don't even know what that means! With the Canadian Baseball Hall of Fame and remained a well-respected man among his peers. The show never received any backlash until around 2010 when somebody posted Fergie's crime compilation on YouTube. Throughout the past decade, it's been reacted to by PewDiePie and other reactors and has gone viral on Reddit. SNL even made a pretty Bro. hilarious spoof of the show. However, no legal ramifications for Fergie. Nobody has How's spoken Fergie out. doing? Do we have an update on Fergie? How's Fergie? And I'm not talking about Fergalicious Fergie either, okay? How's Fergie doing? I bet Fergie's not doing too Fergalicious right now, dude. You know? He's probably he's probably got an oxygen tank. He's struggling to breathe, bro. What's the update on Fergie? How's he doing? Has he kicked it yet? Has he gets it is it? None of these kids have is come it all over? to talk about it. There really isn't much information online about Fergie Olver in general. 
The only thing I could find was actually someone defending his actions. I was kitchen manager on Just Like Mom. Somebody did a, cl a clever editing job on yeah, a YouTube awful. video that has basically destroyed the man's reputation. Yeah, it's awful. Evan Fergie was nothing like that. He was uh, friendly. He was warm. He's loving. Uh, no, I mean, that is not what they made out of that. I, I was shocked. And believe me, I would have, you know, reported it. I mean, I think when I was working there, I was like 20 early 20s. I, I, I saw nothing like that. Nothing like that. So basically this woman, who was 20 at the time, worked on the production crew, mm -hmm. and this was her opinion. So clearly people who worked on the show did not think anything was wrong mm -hmm. with his behavior. In fact, the show actually got syndicated- You also worked seven. You also, uh, forgot- you, you, you also, uh, you know, mentioned a very key detail there. You were 20 years old. I think it's very clear that this guy is not, uh, fucking with the 20 year olds, you know? I think this guy's got a little bit different of a, a little bit different of a preference, a little bit different of, of of taste. You know what I mean? I think I don't I don't think he, I don't think he's going for uh for that sort of group right there. You know the twenties. Did on game TV from 2008 to 2010, where they would rerun all these old episodes. And in 2016, they created a sequel called Just Like Mom and Dad, where Catherine Swing was brought on as a creative consultant. Luckily, the 2017 version was not predatory and seemed to be a much better game overall. Kissing on game shows seemed to be a trend in the 80s. Family Feud's original host, Richard Dawson, was very comfortable leaning in for kisses, even if the woman's husbands were right there. That Most guy! That's the guy I was thinking of! The Family Feud guy! That guy! What is this? Look at this immaculate drip, bro! The gold suit with the fro? Stop playing! was very comfortable leaning in for kisses, even if the woman's husbands were right there. Most of these were consensual, and at least the contestants were of age. In fact, some of these women were the ones making the advances. Steve Harvey was never into that. The only kiss he ever gave out was on a woman's hand. Not much defense can be made for I kiss Steve Harvey. We all saw what happened. We can all agree that kissing a child on the mouth when they explicitly say no is predatory and illegal. As for now, nobody spoke out against this that was involved and probably never will. Plus, Fergie is a very, very old man now. You can't blame the victims for simply wanting to move on and forget. It's so he hasn't kicked the and end. mortifying, but I guess we can be glad it's over. So I still got a chance to push him over. That this will likely never happen I can again, still, I can still push him over, television. dude. Listen, bro, listen, right? Like what that woman was saying, like, yeah, technically we didn't get the full picture. Technically, we really only saw like clips and bits and it, 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 it's edited to, you know, I, I get that, right? I get what she's saying from her point of view. However, I feel like he got caught in fucking 4K. We watched him with our own two eyeballs kissing kids. What do you do when you're alone? We watched it in our own ears. What do you mean it doesn't paint the full picture? Motherfucker, there's no more canvas, you fucking bum. Dude, what the fuck, bro?